Good afternoon. Happy Monday, everyone. Peace, love, positive blessings, positive vibes as always. So what are we going to talk about today? This is a tough one. We're going to talk about wanting to give up, but not giving in to that. <laughs> and we all, at some point in our life, have struggled, will struggle. Some of you might be struggling with this right now. And this is going to be on so many different levels. So you might feel like giving up because you are trying to buy a house and it's not happening. Or you might feel like giving up because you're looking for that special person in your life and you can't find them. You might feel like giving up because your health is crap and you can't figure out everything that's going on and you're not getting better. The reasons that we feel like giving up are different for every one of us. And we might experience multiple reasons, multiple problems and issues and reasons to want to give up and give in as we go through life. This one really hits home. Um, I was drawn to grab, I have a huge piece of selenite here. Um, I just felt drawn to grab this before I started. Um, because this is going to hit home for a lot of people and it hits home for me. It hit home. It, it hits home for me, which is why I can't even speak. I'm like stumbling over words, right? This is reality. I'm not going back and starting this video over. No, no, no. We just roll with it. We just roll with it. So wanting to give up, wanting to give in. Yeah, that is a really difficult struggle. And we absolutely have to do our best to push through, but also to find what is going to help us feel like we still have a purpose and we're worthy and that we shouldn't give up and that we need to go on. So there's going to be a multitude of things and I always tell you guys, it is what works for you. It is what feels right for you. It is what fits you individually. So you find what's best for you always. But we have to find those things that are going to help us feel better and get through. Okay? So when we are going through times of struggling, one easy thing you can do is to lean on the people you love, who love you, know you, and believe in you, and will encourage you, okay? So there are a lot of ugly people in the world, and unfortunately, many of them who would rather watch us fall, or perhaps even kick us, you know, kick us while we're down, versus being there for us. But you know who in your life is loving, trustworthy, truly and honestly caring, and is going to be there to help you get through. So if you're feeling like giving up, if you're feeling like giving in, for whatever the reason might be, lean on those who are going to push you in a positive direction and encourage you to do better. Or maybe you are just at a point where you just need to cry and let loose and let go. So let that person be there to help you get through the tears, the frustrations. And sometimes simply talking things out. So if you're feeling stuck in your life, um, sometimes just talking through what you're going through why you're feeling like giving up and what you're feeling like giving up on, sometimes just talking through it is like that, like medicine, like therapy almost, with a good person, with a good, loving, trusting, caring person who's going to be there for you. Yeah. But sometimes we really need to take a step back. So sometimes if we are feeling like giving up on something, Perhaps we need to simply walk away from it. Yeah, walk away from whatever that is, okay? And I had used the example early on of like, maybe you're trying to buy a home and things aren't going well. Maybe it's not your time. I'm going to say that again. Maybe it's not your time. 
And that phrase goes across the board for everything. Mm -hmm. So one of the things we talk about often is divine timing. Everything is happening. Everything happens when it is meant to happen, not necessarily when we want it to happen. Mm -hmm. And that goes for anything that we are trying to make happen, that we are trying to manifest, that we are pushing to make a part of our life. So sometimes we want to give up because the things that we want, the things that we desire, the things that we're craving to move forward into and make happen are not happening, but it isn't our time. It isn't our time. And I will preach divine timing always. Although I struggle with it. <laughs> like I cannot lie. I cannot lie. I teach it. I preach it. I do it. But... The reason that I can talk about these topics that I come on to talk about with all of you is because it's things that I have or am going through and I can speak on a truly personal level. I absolutely believe in divine timing, but I'm a human. I am like everybody else in this world and I want things like yesterday or like a year ago and they're not happening yet and then I doubt it and then I kick myself. I kick myself in the ass and I'm like, hey, divine timing, don't give up. Don't give up. And I think that's going to be one of the biggest, biggest messages that I can give you is that depending on what you're looking for, what you're trying to do, what you're trying to aspire to, what you're trying to acquire, whatever it is, don't give up because divine timing is always there. The universe is out there. The universe is always listening, which is another reason that I, I always talk about expressing gratitude and living with a grateful heart because the universe is always listening and the universe loves a grateful heart. It loves someone who is appreciative of what they already do mm -hmm. have. Let that sink in for a moment, because sometimes, depending on what we are trying to manifest, acquire, do, be, right? We're wanting to give up because it isn't happening. We also need to take a step back and take a moment to simply look at everything that we do have. Everything that we already are and be absolutely positively Grateful for the here and now. There's also this little saying that I also believe in, although I get frustrated, um, which is talking about not just the divine timing aspect um, and the setting gratitudes, but making sure that you are setting forward in your head even to the point of writing them down, um, making it like a nightly, almost like a nightly prayer. You go to bed and set your intentions for what you are trying to manifest into your life. Mm -hmm. That's a really big, that's a really big thing. And I think talking about manifesting is a whole other video, but manifesting is really, really setting your intentions, like to the point of, details and allowing yourself to feel what it's going to be like when you manifest what it is that you're trying to bring into your life. Setting intentions is huge, is huge. So set your intentions and push them out there to the universe to take on and understand exactly, exactly what it is that you are wanting and trying to do. And even after all of that, it can still be really frustrating. I get it. I really do. So even in doing those practices and pushing yourself to stay strong, talking to people you love, you know, really focusing, it doesn't always wash away that icky feeling of like, I'm not worthy. I'm not good enough. I don't matter. Nobody cares. Yeah. Yeah. 
So we have to keep pushing forward with those things. But then taking it a step further, and uh, so many things I talk about always come back to self-care. Yeah, why do you think I preach it so much? Self-care, self-love. Yes, because until you truly love yourself and you are putting yourself first and making yourself a priority, a lot of things are not going to always fall into place. Not saying nothing will, just saying there's certain things that you have to get to a point in your life where you are honestly, truly loving yourself. And sometimes, guys, sometimes the the self-care aspect, okay, is literally walking away from everything that's going on in your life, stepping away And really putting yourself, like, we're talking, like, top priority. Like, nothing else, nothing else matters. But sometimes in order to move forward and grow, we have got to work on ourselves. We've got to work on ourselves. And that is, that is one of the, it's something that comes up a lot when I have my healing sessions with my clients. We will always find things that need to be worked on. And a lot of times I send people home with homework when they leave here because there's things that they need to work on in order for themselves to learn, grow, shift, and let go of what they need to. Sometimes the reason that things aren't happening and we want to give up because they're not happening is because we need to let go of something that we haven't. And it could be from childhood and we don't even know. And I know that sounds crazy. So any of you who have been in here for Reiki sessions with me or have gone to other healers for sessions, you know things will come up from times in your life that have nothing to do with today. However, however, it has to do with why or where you're at today. So another way to work towards moving forward, understanding, growing, okay, feeling worthy, understanding why things are or are not moving and going the way you want them to is going for Reiki sessions because it opens the door and unlocks so many different things and information that you yourself are never really going to fully know, understand, grasp, like these things will not come to you on your own. But that's why us as healers are here to help you unlock what you need to, which will also help you move forward, acquire what you're trying to, do what you want to do, be who you want to be, and stop feeling like you want to give up because things will start moving forward. Yeah. Yeah. So there is so much that falls into this wanting to give up. There are so many categories, topics, reasons we want to give up. But then there's also so many reasons behind why we aren't moving forward. So it's important to identify, to identify what is going on within yourself that might be holding you back. Yeah. Yeah. So I will give a quick example. I did go for healing last week. I was feeling very stuck, stagnant, down, just not myself for a few weeks and not entirely understanding the reasons why. Thinking that I'm going through depression and, and, you know, and I went for a healing session, which by the time I went, I started to kind of come out of it and I was starting to feel better. But the session had nothing to do with me needing to heal. My chakras were aligned. My energies were phenomenal. It had to do with me learning more about myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So during that healing session, a lot of things opened up and I came to find that I am going through more spiritual growth. But because I was unaware of what was going on inside of me and around me, I felt stuck because I was like I hit this ceiling and I couldn't get above it. And now that I know what's going on, it opened so many energies and it opened so much within myself that I'm like, whoo, 
Yeah, yeah. That's why when I post about Reiki, I always say no two session sessions are alike. You never know what to expect. So the bottom line is if you are feeling like giving up, please don't. Please don't. Take some deep breaths. Exhale and let go of the anger, the frustration, the just all of those bad negative feelings that are, are gathering within you and are sticking somewhere in your body, okay? And then determine how you want to move forward, what you want to do to work through what you're going through. And I feel like everything I said in this video already is just not even enough to touch on this topic of wanting to give up. But it's just some tips, tricks, thoughts, mm -hmm. ideas of what you can do to work through that difficult time and better understand what is going on, why is it going on, what is going on within you, how do you move forward? And the toughest part about wanting to give up, right, is so what are we feeling? We're feeling miserable. We're feeling negative. We're feeling shot down. We're feeling just everything that's not good. And the more that we think negative, ugh, the more that we attract negative. So it's so important to snap ourselves out of that mindset as quickly as we can to continue to think positive, to seriously and in perfect vision, like set our intentions, push them out to the universe and keep moving forward. We never want to go backwards. And negative thinking is only going to drag us down and move us backwards. And we don't want that. We don't want that. I And I just, I feel like I could talk about this for like another hour. There's so much to say, but I'm going to cut it off here. And I am just hoping that there is something in this video that I have said that rings a bell, that hits a nerve, that sits with you, that resonates with you, that helps you who is wanting to give up and give in and throw in the towel to take that deep breath, pick yourself up, remember who the hell you are. Yeah. Yeah. And choose your method of moving forward. And, you know, sometimes it's just about, like I said, talking through it, crying through it. But you find what is going to help you to move forward so that you don't give up. You don't give up. You all deserve happiness. You all deserve to have what you want and desire in your life. Sometimes you need help getting there. And that is okay. That is okay. So, peace, love, positive blessings, positive vibes. Keep your thoughts moving forward. Keep your intentions moving forward. Keep your thoughts positive. And whatever you do, believe in yourself, believe in who you are, believe in your strength, and push yourself every single day, no matter what. So important. You guys got this. And you know if you need to reach out I do not have all the answers. Nope, I'll never claim to. But I am absolutely here to help. Or leave comments here on this video and, you know, we could talk about it. Other people can jump in. One of the things that is really nice is that when we do open up, we often find people that already have or are currently going through the same struggles. And sometimes sharing stories with each other also makes a huge difference. We should all be there to love each other, to motivate each other, and to push each other in a positive way. So you got this.
You got this. We all got this. We're going to get through it. Peace, love, blessings, positive energy. Keep moving forward.